This new Bolt DIY update is absolutely insane. You can actually now integrate it directly with DeepSeek version 3. And I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use it, plus how you can get access to it using Gemini's free API with the brand new 2.0 update. This is absolutely wild. It's a free AI coder, plus you can host it locally, as you can see right here. I'm going to be showing you the best ways to use it, so make sure you keep watching. And I'm going to be giving away all the best prompts, tips, SPs, etc. So let's get straight into it. Now, if you want to get access to this, it's available for free via GitHub. So you can see the directory right here. I'll include the links inside the video notes at the end of this video. So make sure you keep watching. And what you can see right here is that this has so many different additions to it as a free AI coding tool versus, say, using Bolt or using Cursor. So it's very customized. This allows you to input multiple LLMs, which means that you can leverage the power of tools like, for example, DeepSeek version 3, which has just come out and is extremely powerful for building apps, websites, tools, etc. Now, also what you can see right here, if we go back to Bolt, is there's no limit on tokens. You can host it locally. It's completely free. Additionally, you can add in an API. You can also get access to all of these different APIs right here, including Plexity. And also you can use a free version of DeepSeek's hyperbolic API. So just to be very clear here, the hyperbolic team have actually allowed everyone to have free access to the DeepSeek API via their platform. Also, you can switch to Google over here and then you can select, for example, Gemini Experimental 1206 or Gemini 2.0 Flash. We can then go over to Google AI Studio and inside Google's AI Studio, you can grab a free API key. Just click right there and you can grab that for free. No problemo. So if you're wondering, okay, how do you host this? It's pretty simple. So first thing you want to make sure you have is Docker. So make sure you have Docker installed. It's completely free. You can just have it running in the background. Then you're going to go to Tem. Make sure you've NPM installed. And I'll show you exactly how to set this up. So it's pretty simple stuff. You don't need to be a coder. You don't need to be technical at all. Here's how it goes step by step. So first thing you want to do is go to terminal over here, paste in the instructions like you can see, and then finally PMPM run dev, right? Very simple. Just copy and paste those instructions. If you get stuck, screenshot it with your favorite AI tool, and it will show you exactly what to fix along the way. And then once you've got the local host URL, like you can see right here, which you can grab from the terminal. So you can see it gives you a local host URL. You can open that up in your browser, like you can see right here. And then now you've got access to Bolt. One thing that happened for me is when I first opened this up, I had to refresh the page. So I had to click refresh to actually get all of the AI models to load. So that's just something to be wary of. And then once you're inside here, you can, for example, select DC chat over here and then just add in your API key, right? The other thing you can do is scroll to Google, Gemini, and like I was talking about before, you can actually get a free API key, like so if we select create API key, I'll delete the API key after the video, but now we have access to it. So we can plug that into the API key section over here. If we type something totally random, like create a dad jokes keyboard, we can now start building our app, right? And this basically allows anyone who doesn't have coding experience or access to build these tools out yourself and now we have our application ready to go, like you can see, right? So it's coded it out, it's built all the files. We literally just gave it one very simple prompt and literally in seconds, it created the whole website. Boom shakalaka. Let's click on a key, check it works. Yes, it does. Let's check through all of them. Yeah, works perfectly fine in one single click, right? So powerful and it's not cost you anything, right? Because running this version of Bolt is completely free. Getting the API key from, for example, like AI Google Studio is completely free and building out the website and testing it is completely free. Pretty amazing if you ask me. Normally, for example, if you're using these tools online like Bolt.new or, for example, Lovable, you're paying. This is free. For example, Cursor as well, you have to pay as well. And Cursor is a bit more technical and requires a bit more back and forth, whereas this is completely free to use. So that was just a little experiment. Now let's start getting into the interesting stuff. I'm actually going to switch now to DeepSeek because everyone's talking about it right now. Now, if you want to get access to the API, just go to deepseek.com. Then you can go to platform.deepseek.com. And then from here, you can grab an API key. And this is really cheap. I think I read somewhere it was like maybe a tenth of the price of Claw 3.5 Sonnet and those other tools. But it's the newest version and super cheap and easy to use as well. So we're just going to plug in an API key right here. So you can just click on the pen, edit it, and it's pretty simple. And then, for example, we can say, create an affiliate SEO blog about birds. My name is Julian Goldie. I'm an affiliate ID is this. Make this SEO website about bird watching. Build out a blog 
as well. There we go, we'll send that. So what you can also see here is if we select this prompt and then click on the AI, you can actually enhance the prompt, right? So you can make it a lot more in depth, in detail, which means that when Bolt actually goes to create the website and the project, it's going to be way more detailed and therefore you'll get a better output. What you can also see right here is you can select video, you can also select the microphone, you can also attach screenshots and you can select between which. And it's pretty simple and easy. The other cool thing you can do here as well is you can clone a Git repo. So there are some websites on GitHub that you can clone and you can import them directly into your project right here. So absolutely amazing what you can do. And basically your only limit here is creativity. You can also download the code. So if you download the codes, you can host that offline. You can sync the files. You can also push this to GitHub so you can actually publish your projects straight to GitHub. And yeah, it's really powerful stuff. So now you may see that sometimes you get a preview error, so you can ask Bolt to fix it, and then it will start fixing the error and it will install any of the dependencies that you need. And it is lightning fast as well, right? So when you're using the DeepSeq API, it seems really quick and easy to build stuff out. Now, if we go to the preview, we've got the blog ready to go. If you're not happy with something, you can just go back and prompt it inside the chat and then change the whole project. And there you go, you just build out a niche website in the space of two seconds, boom, shakalaka, right? We're not playing games today. Now, you might be like, okay, that's great for you, Julian Goldie, but how do you actually host it? That's one of the questions I get asked a lot. So let me show you exactly how you can host this. If we go back to the code, we'll download the code. So we'll open that up as a zip. We'll open that up. That's going to unzip the file. We'll go to add a new site, import an existing project inside netlify.com. Then we're going to go to Netlify Drop. We'll drag that folder we just created. We're going to upload that bad boy. Now, an easy way to deploy this, if you just go to push to GitHub in the top, you can enter the name of your project and then you can enter in your GitHub username like you can see. Then you would add in your personal access token. If you want to get your personal access token from GitHub, again, this is free, then just go to developer settings inside your settings. You'll see a drop down here for it. And then you can just create one directly here. Just generate a new token and follow the instructions. So if we go back to Bolt, we'll push this to GitHub and then if you grab whatever repository you've built, you can go to link repository inside Netlify, get a link, whichever one you want to link in. So for example, like you can see right here, we'll hit deploy and that'll deploy from GitHub directly. It might take a while to deploy as you can see right here, but that's basically how you can do it step-by-step. Step. So let's test out another example right here. We're going to create an SEO calculator website. So loads more examples, but here's another one that we'll try now, which is creating an SEO cost calculator website. You can see we've inserted the keyword right there. We've also said link to this page, add some brand colors, add some content on the website. So if we copy this prompt, you get access to all the prompts, link in the comments and description in my free SEO course. We could just build out this website, right? There's loads of different ways you can use these free AI coders for SEO, right? It doesn't have to be a calculated website. It can be a local directory. It could be an EMD. It could be a landing page. It could be a tool that you're building internally or one that you're trying to rank for. You can even create niche sites if you wanted to as well. Although usually when you're using this process, that's going to take a bit more time if it's a big website. The only issue that I would say with DeepSeek is if you're using the API key, I don't think it has vision. So you probably want to use Gemini for that, right? Gemini 2.0 is probably better for using that process. Because for example, if you want to screenshot any errors that you get over here and plug them in here, you want to change the API. Now you can actually change the API key halfway through. So you don't have to like go between chats. You don't have to go between different projects. You can just select the project that you want to change and from there fix it, right? So for example, in this situation, if we take a screenshot of this error that we're getting, we'll plug that in there and it's not going to work, right? And that's because DeepSeek doesn't have vision access. But if we grab the API key from Gemini, then we're going to select Google Gemini 2.0 flash. We'll plug in the API key. We'll grab that screenshot again. We'll go back to Gemini now and we'll say troubleshoot. And then Gemini can actually use its vision and its multimodal model to actually fix this. So you have a cool thing about this as well. And then you can just ask Bolt, right? And it will just come up with a way to fix it like that. The other thing you can do, we'll test this in a second, is you've got the voice mode right there. So you can actually prompt it with voice instead. But now you can see the SEO calculator website is ready to go. Now, for example, if we go back to the voice, and we'll have to allow the microphone. And so you can see now it's typing based on what I'm saying through the microphone, right? Which just makes it easy. Like you don't even need to use your fingers now. You don't need to use your brain because you've got the AI to do that for you. And you're kind of left wondering, okay, what are we doing here? 
Now, obviously I don't have a lot of time inside this video to show you how you can go back and forth with these websites. But if you want to see some examples of websites that we've created, you can see this one page lander right here. This one was built with Bolt as well. Like you see right here, it's got loads of different pages across this local rank and rent website. And additionally, you can see an enterprise SEO calculator page that's ranking number one for its targeted keyword as well. So there's loads of different websites you can build with this. Here's an example and let's move on to the next one. So what we're going to do now is try and build an agency website. So let's grab this prompt. So this time we're just going to start a new chat just to keep things simple. We we'll use the same API, so we'll use Gemini 2.0 Flash. And the, the one thing I love about this is just the speed of it. it. Saves you so much time. In the time that it would take you to actually put up a job ad for a coder, you've already built the website, mate. Like You don't even need to worry about it anymore, let alone the thousands of dollars that you would normally pay for that. There's many more actually inside this document, including how I built 53 ARCO tools. There's a full SAP on that, along with 10 different prompts on how to do that right here. You can also build like exact match domains, like you can see local SEO websites. Here's another website we actually built out advertising our service for video SEO ranking. And yeah, it was just so easy to do. You might be saying, okay, why would you do this instead of using the normal sort of coding tools like bold.new or cursor or windsurf, etc. Number one, this is free. Number two, you can host it locally. Number three, you can get access to DeepSeek and you can also use the free version of Gemini. It also has perplexity built inside there. It's very easy to install like I showed you on the terminal. You can import and export the chats and it comes with speech recognition. So yeah, pretty powerful stuff. And these websites you can build out are super nice, right? Like you can see this one right here. It's nice, it's fast to use. It's got really good core web vitals. You can link it to a GitHub repository as well. And that way, when you're building this out, they get updated as you update the local project. But yeah, pretty amazing stuff. Like you can see with all of these websites that were built out. And I would definitely recommend checking that out. Now, if you want to get access to all the video notes from today, prompts, as well as all my best prompts, for example, like Bolt, Cursor, Windsor, Lovable, etc. All these free AI coders I've actually tested myself, built out multiple prompts. And you can get access to all those prompts, tips, SAPs, tutorials, along with 53 ASEO tools, 200 SEO tutorials, and all of my best tips and workflows when it comes to SEO inside this course right here is literally taking me hundreds of hours and nearly two years of building it out every single day for you to give it away for free, right? So you can get that link in the comments and description. Feel free to get that. If you go to the free SEO tool section, which you can see right here, not only have I taught you how to use Perplexity, Claude 3.5, Sonnet, Poe, Gemini, Cursor, Notebook, LM, Bolt, Quen, etc. All of these crazy tools are out there for free and I've shown you exactly how to use them. But additionally, if you go to the Bolt DIY section, you can get access to all the video notes I've shown you today. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to get that link in the comments and description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business month, generate thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan. So you'll get a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more leads, sales, and profits from your website. You'll discover a tried and tested proven link building strategy or answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly our rank your competitors to link building and how to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us. That's completely free. You can book it in, link in the comments description. You can see all the people that we've helped. And if you want help as well, we're happy to help you. Feel free to book it in. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.